Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to an episode of the Hall of Mirrors, Warframe lore series that covers everything from events to characters. Today we will cover an operation constructed by the Lotus to negate Grenier Balor for Morian Armada that attacked the Corpus. Before we continue, a like or a comment would be appreciated since this really helps me in the algorithm of YouTube gods. But now let's start with the story. Or let's say, continue it. The Tenno's success with the Operation Cryotic Front was a stunning success. The mysterious trader who promised the weapons that could potentially destroy the Balor Fomorians kept his word and gave Lotus a data mass with the location of the vault that stored all the parts for these much needed weapons, also known as Arcwings. Even though Tenno now had the massive stores of Arcwing components at their disposal, they still haven't had it in their possession. The deal between the mysterious stranger, which turned out to be Barrow Kittir, and the Lotus took so long that the Grenier found out about the Arcwing technology and devised a plan to destroy the vaults. It is my duty to inform you of more Tenno arrogance. The criminal Lotus is planning to unearth ancient technology to be used against us. Will we stand by while they threaten our victory? No! We'll not allow them to dig up Ghosts of the past! We will go to the void! We will find what they seek! And we will turn every last shred of this awkward technology into dust! You will be led by pairs of my newest, most vicious clones! In haste, Lotus thus decided to send all the Tenno a message. The message read, Tenno, we have reviewed Barrow Kittir's Arcwing data mass. Much of it is corrupt, but what little it does reveal is invaluable. We now know that more information exists and we must look for it in the Orokin derelicts locked in the void. Our mission is urgent. The Grenier have also learned about the Arcwing technology and they are determined to destroy all traces of it before we find it. To do this, Vehek is using void keys and torsion beam generators to force open Orokin portals. We must destroy his access to these portals. Our ability to recover Arcwing fragments depends on it. Careful, Tenno! Vehek is using unstable keys. Cumulative exposure to these keys will have detrimental effects on your health, shields, and Warframe abilities. Proceed accordingly. The Lotus This action started an operation dubbed Operation Gate Crash. The Tano rallied to the point of the objective across multiple planets and tried to close the Void Gates, but not without struggle. Utilizing torsion beams, the Grenier had an upper hand. To dismantle these dangerous devices, the Tano first had to retrieve its Void Key. However, the keys were fiercely guarded by two of the system's most formidable Grenier sisters, Van Gratel and Sprague. As the Tenno entered the portal, they were met with a chilling greeting from Van Gratel, taunting their audacity. You should have brought more, Tenno! You don't have enough! Are you willing to die for this key, Tenno? If you're not careful, Tenno, my friend will break your back! But in a swift and unexpected turn of events, the Tenno reacted with unparalleled precision. They raised their modified Mark I Braton and fired one shot, striking Van Gratel directly in the head. The Grenier's sister crumpled to the ground, lifeless. Wake up! Van wake up! No! 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 
Consumed by anger and vengeance, Sprag gripped her massive hammer-like weapon and lunged at the Tenno, determined to avenge her fallen sister. But the Tenno's skill and resolve were unmatched, and with a single precise shot, Sprague met the same fate as her sister Venkra. In a mere fraction of a second, the relentless Tenno had vanquished both sisters securing the Void Key they sought. The mission was accomplished, but the legends surrounding Venkra tell and Sprague continued to ripple throughout the system. Some tales speak of a different outcome, suggesting that both Van Kratel and Sprague still serve the Grenier Queens to this day. The enigmatic concept of eternalism fuels these speculations, but the truth remains elusive, shrouded in mystery. As the dust settled, the Void Key was in possession of the Tenno, yet their journey was far from over. The quest to reclaim Arcwing Fragments and confront the Grenier Relentless Pursuit raged on. As the Tenno returned to the torsion beam device with the coveted Void Key in their possession, they wasted no time in dismantling the Grenier portal to the Arcwing Storm Center. The oppressive aura of the Void dissipated, leaving behind a sense of victory and progress. Undeterred by the growing weakness inflicted upon them by repeated exposure to the unstable Void Keys, the Tenno pressed on. Mission after mission, their health, shields and once mighty powers gradually waned. Every battle became more challenging and the weight of their vulnerability borne down upon them. Through sheer tenacity, the Tenno emerged victorious, completing the operation that had threatened to consume them. The Grenier threat had been vanquished, their access to the Arcwing technology forever denied. The Tenno stood as the sole possessors of this ancient power now. The Arcwing technology now held the potential to reshape the tides of battle against the Balor Fomorian Armada in the Tenno's favor. But that story is for another day. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe. These videos take a very long time to make, from script writing, researching about the topic, to editing the video, getting the footage, everything, all me. But yes, again, thank you for watching, and I wish you a very nice day. Bye, guys.